Uh, my view about the uh, lifting of the arms embargo, as indeed the view of many uh, nations who contribute forces here, is that there would be very dire consequences uh, ultimately to the uh, people of this country. Uh, the United Nations uh, peacekeeping mission here uh, is, uh, has limits to the amount of enforcement it can employ. Uh, the nations who contribute troops do not wish to see their uh, uh, troops drawn into a war and many contributing nations, including my own, have said that they would have to withdraw their troops in those circumstances. And the consequences uh, of this for the uh, Muslim minority groups in the enclaves uh, in the east, and don't forget Sarajevo is also an enclave and there would be dire consequences here as well, uh, are incalculable. Well, we take, we take violations extremely seriously, but as I say, in a condition of conflict that we're surrounded with in this country, uh, it is inevitable that there will be no absolute situation. Uh, if there is a violation or there is a threatened violation, as there was indeed last night, uh, we had aircraft up uh, uh, ready to uh, engage targets uh, if there was a flagrant or, or, uh, flag a flagrant or a blatant breach of the, um, v uh, the uh, total exclusion zone or the, the uh, agreements that we've made between both parties. And we take it extremely seriously. We do act, but we don't always uh, use force because, of course, we are a peacekeeping uh, organization with peacekeeping missions.